In this screencast, we're going to take a look at Android User Interface Essentials, and we're going to cover the creation of new layouts um, using Eclipse's layout editor. Then we're going to look at how we wire up event listeners in Java to the various widgets that our layouts define. And then finally, we're going to look at how we can transfer control from one activity defined in an application to another and how we can actually return an activity result to the invoking activity. All right, so let's just do a, uh, a project and kind of pull all these things. Let's just replicate the, uh, the scenario we just did. And you can see some of the uh, assists that Eclipse gives us along the way when we do the event handlers and, and things like that. So let's start by just creating a new project. Um, So I'll call this uh, Android UI Essentials Demo. And uh, we'll create a new project. And let's go with 2.2. .2. And we're going to remember to set that 8. Remember to do that, or you'll have resource problems. And uh, And we'll just call this my activity. All right, so we got a project. All right, so we've got a layout in there already. And what we needed was a button. So I'm going to go ahead and drag a button in here. And I'm just going to get rid of that, that label. And I wanted to give this a name, um, press me. So if I go over to this hierarchy or the outline here and I double click, it's actually going to. Uh, let me browse the things here. So I'm going to call this uh, my button and we'll give it a name. So if we go to the text setting and remember it should be doing this in a resource file but we're just keeping it simple. Alright, so that should do the job. So I've got a single button here and now let's go ahead and go into the code and hook up an event handler to that. Um, so we go into the onCreate and we're going to grab a button here and so we need to find the view so we do that with this right here so notice Eclipse does all this for me and we're looking for the ID and it was my button so it's all right there so now I've got myself a handle and Eclipse is complaining here because it doesn't know what for sure what button it is and it's suggesting maybe you need to import it so I'll do that and of course it's highlighted yellow here because we haven't really done anything with that thing that we created but that'll disappear soon when we um, set the listener so to set the listener remember we just say set on click listener and now we need to create a new listener and remember we're going to do this as a uh, anonymous inner class and we can find that interface on our view and watch what it does here for me see that it stubs it all automatically so Eclipse is your friend it works real good and at this point we wanted to actually have it run the other activity but I haven't written that one yet okay so let's let's kinda of back off here oh the last thing you gotta do is put your semicolon in Let's just kind of put this on the stack and let's go over and create that other activity so we can call it. So I'm just going to go over to my package, right click. Um, I want a class and I'm going to call this my other activity and it's going to inherit from activity and I think the rest here is this default stuff. So there's my other activity and on this guy I wanted to um, have a different layout so we better go over and create the layout for that so we'll go back over here and I'll say new Android XML and we want it to be a layout and uh, I think I called it what I call it super simple or something no my form 
myform.xml, and it's going to be a layout. Linear layout should be fine. And so there it is. And on this guy, I wanted, I think I had a text view on the top. And that text view said, uh, congrats, you press the button. So we'll just come down here. And then I think I added one more. Let's just center that quickly. And then my width needs to be fill parent or match parent. So match parent and fill parent are the same. It's just match parent is the renaming of fill parent as of level 8. So those are kind of synonyms once you get to level 8. And Okay, and then I wanted another. Oops, I want to switch the orientation. And this one was just going to say, enter some text. And then I wanted a, um, edit text. put that there and that fills and then the last thing was a done button and I believe I I write uh, centered that one so we'll just try to replicate that so we'll go right uh, right and give it a different name. All right, so there's my my form. So let's go back to the class now. And how do I get that form to show up in my activity? I need to set view, and I need to do that in which method? On create. So if I go to source, override, and then I scroll down, I can go on create. And then I just refer to my layout, right? Okay, and I also had some event handlers that I had to put on this one. Um, so I'm going to add a couple of methods, or a, a couple of private data members here. So one of them was a button, and the other one was a edit text. And we've got to import those. All right, so now we want to add the um, event handler for that button. So we want to get the, the references to these guys first. So we'll say the button is going to be button. And then how do I get it? Find view by ID. Oops, it wasn't that though, it was done button, but I didn't remember to name it, so let's go over there and give it a unique name. So I renamed the text, but I didn't rename the ID, so let's just do that so we get a nice name on it. So now if I go back here, because I did this in Eclipse, right, it knows to automatically regenerate the r.java, so this should show right up for us. Um, Didn't I name it done button? Oh, I didn't save it. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now it should be there. And there it is right on top. 
And then I don't think I gave the edit text a special name either, so let's go do that. Oh, and there's some other things we should do here too, right? So one of the things we can do is set a hint on here. So if I set this on hint, then I'll give this a more meaningful name. Okay, and you'll notice that my hint didn't show up here and that's because by default it sets the text attribute. So if you're using that hint feature, make sure you go off and clear that text. If I clear this, now my hint should show up. Okay, it's kind of grayed out. So that's a nice way with text fields too to, I mean, you've you need to be economical with your screen real estate here and so you wouldn't necessarily have to have that prompt up there because you can put your prompts as hints right inside and what happens is when you get focused in that field and start typing it just takes that grade away hint text out of there for you okay so let's go and finish this class off so we want to say message field is going to be a edit text Is All right, and now we just need to add a handler to the button. And we'll put this down here. All right, and so at this point we got we want to um, we want to go and get the um, text off the uh, um, we want to get the text out of that message field and then set it on our return value on that intent object. So one of the things we want to do is create a new intent. And then once again, I need to make sure the import is there. And once I've done this, I want to do the put extra. And we're going to go with a string string here. So we'll give it, um, we'll say that's the value. And then for this, we need to actually extract it from message field. So we need to say message field get text uh, convert it to a string and the last thing we want to do is do a well there's two more things we got to do we get a set result um, and we're going to do activity result okay Remember that, and then pass the intent. And then what's the last thing we do? Oops, this was data. And then what else do we got to do? Finish, final, finish. Okay, so that should take care of that. And now we can finish off this activity. So what we want to do here is we want to create a um, new intent. And we want to give it the current context, which is my activity. And we want to specify the class that we want to run. So that was my other activity dot class. Oops. And once again, we got to have it pick up the imports. All right, so now that we have that intent, we need to call what what method? Start activity, right? So we need to do a start activity for result, and then we wanted to pass it the intent. And then the second parameter again was that ID. So we need to define a 
request ID here. So we'll say private static final int. And then we'll put that down here. Okay, so there we've started it. Um, and we've already implemented that method. So the only thing left here that we need to do is we need to write the code that gets that result back after the called activity finishes. So does anybody remember what that method was? It's on activity result, right? So when we get stuck, you know, rather than turn to the documentation, Eclipse is really uh, helpful here. So we can kind of quickly scroll through. And the one we wanted was on activity result. So we can go like this, and it stubs it for us automatically. And all we're going to do here is check that result code. So we're going to say if, re I'm sorry, the request code is equal to message request. OK, that's the one we care about. And if that's true, we want to get that message out and toast it. So we need to get a message. But we first wanted to check if the data coming in is valid or not. OK, so if we do have one, then we're going to set the message to be And uh, let's see if I get this right. So I think it was does that, does that seem right? I think that was what we used. And oh, sorry guys, <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay. Um, and then if it wasn't, if we didn't get anything back, we were just going to say and then finally we wanted to do a toast, right? So we wanted to say toast and we want to say make text and the context once again is going to be this and the text um, is going to be the actual message and for the length here I'm just going to grab one of the predefined constants and the last thing we had to do is show it okay am I done anything else aha yes we have to go back to the manifest file and we have to go and add that activity. So we want to go and add another element under application called activity and it has a name of my other activity and I don't need anything else at this point. That was all I really needed. Okay? So at this point, with a little luck, We can run this. All right, so there's the first activity. I hit press me, pulled up my second activity. Okay. And let's try the other case. So if I do this, and then I back out without hitting done. Okay. And then what happens if I hit back right now? It goes back to wherever I was when the app started running. <coughs>